Hello, hello, and welcome back to Creeper World 4. When we left off, we were doing the Span Experiment. We just finished off the Valley of the Shadow of Death, and we are about to move on to Neuron. Uh, doop, doop. Oh yeah, and Tyrant King's been here in chat giving us fun, uh, and his, like, ancient animal facts. Sorry, I had the wrong keyboard on my lap again. I keep forgetting to swap back. All right, so we're going to drop down right here and boom. All right, we're going to try and do this real time. Weapons, uh, mortars. Come on. Get some snipers positioned here, and here, and here, to keep us safe, and a missile defense here. Start building down here to grab that stuff. We're going to need a factory, which we will put over here, and we'll need to branch over to, and it will need its own defense of some more mortars. With any luck, once all of the mortars are in place, this whole area down here will be safe, so let's build more energy production back here. Alright, and I think that's where we're gonna slow... We're gonna slow down all of the craziness of what we're doing and just let the things get built. Let's speed up time a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let's wait for it to finish the weapons before we do more. Hurry up. Get our defenses up. Underlay, underlay. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um... Now, let's go ahead and build this guy over here. Is there anything that's going to send? Alright, we don't need any snipers facing in that direction. Do a couple of these and another missile. And a few more of these. God, I'm loving the fun facts in chat tonight. It's very, uh, fun. Ho -ho. Um, what is this one? And so, largest prehistoric pig. Yeah, that one in. Scottish breed of draw horse. Oh, oh, I know these things. Aren't they like, yeah. Yeah, I love, I've seen artwork of them. They're fucking goovers. I love those horses, like the, what, the way they look historically. Alright, um... Can I? No, I can't tell that to move. Okay. We should build a few of these boys over here, because I'm worried that this is going to start overflowing into our territory soon. That pig was as big as these horses. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can't... Yeah, there we go. Reach down to there. Build this guy to dig things up. And let's build a couple of cannons just to help keep this area a little clean. Alright. I think... I, I think we're gonna have a relatively easy time with this mission overall. And let's build a... Sniper right here and some missile defense just to ensure this corner of the map stays good and in our control All right, all right There we go 
Can we? We can. Let's just do this to get the extra energy for now. Uh, I'm sure these guys will start dying off eventually, but we should take advantage of the zone while we can. Actually, we might as well scatter some mortars around up here. And a sniper or two. Do you think we can reach across the gap over here? Ooh, what just blew up? Oh, that's not too bad. Let's try and... Yes! Oop, shit. Did something blow up over here? Nothing major. Nothing that scares me if it's blown up. Let's build a couple of mortars around here. Uh-oh. Missile in the middle. We're probably not going to get that area built up, sadly. But this area might get secured. We're currently running a pretty bad energy deficit, but we'll, we'll survive. Put this right here. Oh, shit. This creeper there. Just looking for anything I can build to squeeze a little bit more energy out. Uh, hang on, let's go ahead and turn off... Uh, paths. And turn on enhance. I don't think there's anything to enhance, but I like having it on anyway. There we go. Map looks much prettier in this state. Okay, so the plan is to try and just, for now, focus mostly on reclaiming this island, but you know, if we can reach out over here, we might as well. I think we should get another sniper tucked down here now that... Yeah, I think that's gonna be a good idea. Make things extra secure. And we should put a cannon tucked right here to help keep this area good. There we go, now we can do that there. And that there. What just got got? Something that I was supposed to be- oh, it's- I, I'm guessing things over here, yeah. Yeah, now we can't reach, sadly. So, this area's out of our control for now. But we can start climbing one hill. And, with any luck, that'll slowly decrease the amount of creeper here and allow us to reach out to the other hill eventually. Alright, we got a very steady start here. Ooh, okay, these guys are all available, so I want... Uh, mine production, fire range, and energy collection up. All those things are going to be very helpful. Watch the, the little 0.5 on red, and in a moment that's going to tick up to a higher number. Come on. Guys are all locking in. Why are you still only giving me 0.5? There we go. 0. 0.6. Yeah. Pack a giant picks the size of... You know, when you put it that way. Horses are terrifying. I mean, not horses. Pigs. Pigs are terrifying. Uh-oh. This area is all now on its own. Unless... Hang on. No. Ah, oh, they can't reach each other. 
I think we should quickly do a little bit of this, though. Just form a little bit of a, a triangle of improved energy passing. Yeah, all right, this tower is getting lost now without the support they need. Okay. Can we reach? Yes! Let's get our sprayers down. Set him to always on. And let's go ahead and get... There we go. There we go. Getting some of this stuff in is going to be very helpful. In fact, let's get two sprayers down. I'm loving all these science facts. Pigs are, God, probably, honestly, pigs are horrific. They will eat anything. Like, it's been known that like, if you fall asleep in a place with pigs, they will just eat you. Eat alive, they'll like, They'll start just eating parts of your body, and if you're lucky, they'll eat something that will wake you up before they kill you. Yes. The coom. The coom has begun. Ta -da. I wish there was a way to use uh, the terraforming to bridge these gaps across here, because that would be very fun. I wonder if I can... hang on. Move this over a little. Can I start building? Do I got the space for this? I think I do, actually. Hang on. Move this. Destroy this. And with that, yeah, I'm not even actually, okay. Having that guy down will be very good. Here we go, now we've got this corner in our control. It doesn't surprise me. Again, pigs, terrifying, and anything omnivorous is gonna survive very, very well. Especially if it's of a more scavengery, scavengery nature, which I feel like these guys must have been sort of uh, pseudo scavengers. More than like willing to attack and kill, but much like the boars of modern day, mostly scavengers. Fun fact: a lot, a lot of evidence points to the fact that T. Rexes were probably scavengers and not hunters. You better be going down and not up, you little white blocks. Alright, I think we can afford another another coom cannon. More coom. Increase the coom. Endless coom. Alright. Oh, were they? Huh. Fucking horrific. I don't like the thought of predatory pigs. There we go. Actually, hang on. There we go. Just a good flow of resources. With that, we're gonna be able to start building rockets and rockets, woo, they make a world of difference in a lot of different ways. So yeah, right now, go take this entire island. We'll then push So. And do we want to push? This is the northern end. 
South or east? That's the question. I think we'll push to the southern island, then the eastern island. Uh. Man, I would love to do a, a, a... Does anybody remember the TV show Terra Nova? Very, very neat concept. Uh, it was basically... In the distant future, when Earth is unlivable, we found, managed to find a time portal that took us back to prehistoric times. And so we began building a colony in, in like dinosaur times. So it's about modern humans trying to live in a world dominated by dinosaurs. And I feel like a tabletop campaign inspired by Terra Nova would be very fucking fun. Or just a video game in general based off Terra Nova. Terminator pigs. I'll be pork. Actually, they're probably saying they won't be pork. <laughs> All right, um. We're doing quite good, I'd say, overall. This game is so satisfying. Hmm. I love this game. So chill, such a vibe. Oh my god, that's a fucking big pig. Oink oink, motherfucker. Alright, let's see here. Let's start getting some mortars down. Yeah, just place some mortars at the edge of our territory to expand our reach. Oh, you know what? Hang on. We should build a shield generator as well. Because a single shield generator actually does wonders for moving in on nullifying things. I think it might be the best nullifying tool we can get, honestly. <sighs> Here we go. Let's just slide you up the hill a little. Ye uh, I think lobsters might have that as well, or something similar going on with their biology. I know they're, as far as we know, biologically immortal. Like, they'll never die of old age. Sorry if I'm sniffing a little bit. I got a bit of a stuffy nose. I think I got a very minor cold from riding around uh, in my scooter during the winter. I got a fancy ass electric scooter for winter and I'm loving it. But ba 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 I don't fucking know. Don't don't ask me why I, I do the things I do or make the sounds I make. I was overwhelmed by the spirit of McDonald's there for a moment. As all Americans are from time to time. Ronald possessed me. Ye. It's really a kind of terrifying gene when you think about it. But very cool. Could be used in a lot of fantasy settings in a fun way. I like to think that's why so many fantasy settings have giant creatures. Because like in fantasy worlds they just... That's just a very common gene. I wonder if that gets activated in creatures in the Fallout universe. And uh, that's part of why creatures are as big as they are in the Fallout universe. Also, man, one of my favorite things about fucking the fallout shit and like stuff around it is 
the people who one misinterpret it as being pro-fascist and hate the series because of it and two the people who misinterpret it as being pro-fascist and like the series because of it also the people who completely fail to miss the point of the fact that it's a scathing indictment of capitalism and are just like yeah no it's a pro-capitalism thing because it's all about pro-america propaganda no no the the point is it's using the propaganda ironically to make fun of American propaganda. How do you? Uh. All right. Let's just carefully bomb pile on around a little bit. All right. Let's move the force field down this way now. And move these guys along with it. I think I can afford an, uh, another Coom Cannon now. And we're gonna put it right here. Oh god, crocodiles have it? That's terrifying. God, crocodiles are terrifying. Alright. Man, today's been a good day. I had a nice easy day at work. I slept in a little bit. Uh, I got to watch my roommates watch the season finale of season four of Stranger Things. I had a nice lunch, a nice steak and cheese dinner, free donuts at work. Came home and I'm just chilling with Creeper World and learning cool facts about and by uh, about animals. It's today's been a good fucking day. It's been a good first day of the new year. That that's why I'm recording this, by the way, for those of you who are confused by that statement. This is the first of the new year, and it, it's been a good fucking day. Pieces. Oh my god, I would love to see a fucking massive tortoise. I want, I want horse-sized tortoise. I, I think that would be a really fun thing to have in a fantasy world is horse-sized tortoises and turtles as well that like move super slow but you get like entire nomadic civilizations built around these things actually way back in the day i was running a tabletop campaign called Greenbridge, where the setup of it was that there was a uh, the players it was a post-apocalyptic earth where the world was flooded to about a story in height in the area where the players were at least so like uh, there was a bunch of like flooded skyscrapers around them and they were traveling on the Greed Bridge, an old highway overpass that had been built tall enough that when the world flooded, it was kept over the flood. And the group had built their home on the back of a giant snail. And so they always did their adventuring within proximity of the giant snail. Uh, that was all just moving along of its own accord and the player who had first found it in their backstory, he was just like, nah, this is, it, like, the snail did everything it did with no care for the people who happened to be on its back. But he was like, nah, he's my buddy, he's my pet, I love this big boy, he's my buddy, I love him. Nobody's gonna hurt my snail. <laughs> it was great, I loved it. The, the campaign sadly saw a very early end due to a toxic player. Dumb. A toxic player who, last I heard, was telling people I was a pedophile because I made the villain groups, uh, kidnap the villain group in the post apocalyptic campaign kidnap children. Because when I had them just be slavers, the players were like, well, you know, it's the apocalypse, that's fair. You're, you're gonna need to have some slavery of, like, bad people. And I was like, oh god, how do I ensure the players hate this guy? They like this group. Oh, they enslave children as well. 
And you know, so this person was like, ah, so you would support child slavery then? It's like, no, no, the whole point is you're supposed to hate these people and I'm trying to show you, you hate these people. So I'm making them do shitty, awful, terrible people things. Like, I've had that a few times in the past. Players who are like, you made an NPC do a thing, therefore you support said thing. It's like, no, I made the villain do said thing, therefore I think said thing is evil, and I'm trying to make you understand that this person is evil. Ooh, we can build a couple more Coom Cannons. It's like the people who are trying to say that uh, Tolkien was racist and pro-eugenics because Sauron created orcs through a form of fantasy eugenics. Giant tortoises keep growing until 450 year, or 40 to 50 years old and can reach a weight of 500 pounds. Galapagos giant tortoise can grow five feet tall. Five feet tall? I love them. I know that fucking uh, 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 Charles Darwin fucking rode torti tortoises and was just like, this is the best thing I've ever done in my life in his journals. The, ju the jur journals of fucking Charles Darwin are a fucking experience to read. They're insane. Guy was a character. All right, I think next thing we need to do is build one of, where is it? Uh, it's in, there it is. Pla build a platform to help us cross this gap. Uh-oh. Did they purposely make it so that I couldn't build platforms? Oh, clever bastards. Ooh, I can build one here. There we go. We should build a couple of, uh, snipers. Is there not a, a missile launcher? We don't need missile defense, I don't think. That's good to know. Snapping turtles are terrifying. If you've ever seen a snapping turtle eat, you, you know what I mean when I say snapping turtles are fucking... Terrifying. Okay, no, there is missile launches. I was like, I don't know if I've seen one this whole game. But yeah, no, they definitely exist, so let's just ensure everything is safe. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, I love this game. And I love all of you watching. I say it very frequently in this series, but thanks again to all the people who have helped make Creeper World one of the most popular series on my channel. Genuinely. Yeah, they're like a super common thing in North America. In fact, in um the Florida and Midwestern region, they're a very, very common issue to the point where like it's not uncommon to find, like, advice on how to handle snapping tur large snapping turtles getting in the way on the road. Because they not only have these razor-sharp teeth that they can snap down with enough force to break through metal, but they also have claws uh, and spikes on their shells. They're, they're, they're the spicy variant of turtle. <laughs> I think we're about approaching the end of this episode of Creeper World. So, yeah, we we spent this episode taking the entire uh, Northwestern Island. I think not too bad for the first episode. Very, very nice. I, I am happy with how we've done here. <sighs> Just stretching a little. See ya. Uh, come back. Those of you watching on YouTube, come back for the next episode, which I believe is next week. Actually, hang on, let me quickly look at my upload calendar. <coughs> oh no, it's in two days, it's not next week yet. 
we should come back to the uh, come back on the next episode to watch us take the southwestern island or at least try and take the whole island but we'll see if we can manage to take it in one episode um I hope you've all been very much enjoying. I know I've been very much enjoying. Um, comment down below your favorite part of the episode, your favorite one of Tyrant King's fun facts, uh, any fun facts of your own you know, your least favorite part of the episode, and something nice that happened to you recently. I read every comment I get, and I, I love hearing what you guys have to say. Um, while you're down there, drop a like on the video, subscribe and ring the bell. All of these things can help my channel grow, and if my channel grows, I can give all of you more content, better content, just I can improve my channel in general the more love and attention I get. And when you're done doing all that, come on up where we have the end cards appearing. In the upper left-hand corner, it will be the entire Creeper World 4 playlist. In the upper right-hand corner will be the Rebuild 3 playlist. In the bottom right-hand corner will be a video recommended for you by the YouTube algorithm. And in the bottom left-hand corner will be my most recent upload. Click one of those to continue watching. I love y'all, and ta-ta for now.